Hey there, Bookmatic Lifelong Learners. I have a unique video here for you today on this Thursday. So I'm gonna tell you about five books. Now, the first book is a book that I uh, liked this year, I thought it was pretty good. And the second book is a book that I think everyone should read. The third book is a book that I did not like at all. The fourth book is uh, an author that I would marry, although I'm already married, so I wouldn't marry, but if I were not married, I would marry. And uh, the last book is a book that I still haven't read that I've been meaning to read for a while. So let's get straight into it. So here's the first book. This book is called Total Rethink by David McCourt. I read this, this one earlier this year. Uh, David was kind enough to send it to me and I thought that it was really interesting. Uh, it really helps you to rethink entrepreneurship, to break down your barriers, break down the barriers of, of entrepreneurship and think outside the box. He tells his story from all the way back in the 70s and 80s and does a really good job of that, explaining how he uh, made the process of making really unique ideas and turning them into businesses, looking for the gaps in businesses and, and really turning that around. So this one is a, a great book for entrepreneurs. I would check it out if I were you. And. The second book that I think everyone should read is Atomic Habits. This one is fantastic because it really dives into the habits and how to build them and how to break the bad habits. Uh, this is such a popular book, you probably have heard of it, so uh, I highly recommend reading it. Everyone should read it. Really practical. The best book about habits in my opinion. And. The next book that I really did not like, I shouldn't say that I hated it. I think Simon Sinek is a fantastic guy. The Infinite Game by Simon Sinek. Well, yeah, the, the problem with this one is I've read Start With Why. <clears throat> and I felt like this book right here was very, very similar to Start With Why. It's just like, he just changed some words and, and the concept is somewhat similar. But I do have to say that there are some positive qualities. Like having an infinite mindset is a really good thing. Like knowing that you are creating a business or some, creating something that is going to live beyond your lifetime. That's a really good thing to have, of course. And the second thing is having a, a worthy rival. And I thought that that takeaway was really good in this book is having a worthy rival. So looking at your competition and not really considering them as competition, but considering them as someone that you can look to and kind of adapt what you are doing to make it better. I guess it's the same as competition, but it's just worded in a way that makes it feel a little bit more nice. The next book here is Grit by Angela Duckworth. This is an author that I would marry if I were not married already uh, because she's got grit. I mean, if you've ever read this book, she, her, the way that she studied about grit is, is awesome. So, I mean, that, that right there makes me want to marry her <laughs> if I were not married. The last book here is The Culture Code by Daniel Coyle. Now, I got this book like like three years ago. I still haven't read it. It's been sitting on my shelf. I've been meaning to get to it. It just, I haven't got to it yet. I read the introduction. Felt like it was really interesting. I'm really excited to read this, but honestly, I don't know exactly when I'm gonna read it. I just feel like it needs to come at the right time in my life. And right now, maybe it's not the right time. But I will be checking this one out for sure in the future. So, I hope you enjoyed this short video about five books. I hope you learned some books that you might want to read in the future or not read. 
Uh, and uh, yeah, definitely hit the subscribe button and I will see you in the next week's video. Take care. Thanks for watching everyone. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe for more videos like these. Also follow my other social media accounts such as Instagram, Facebook and Twitter for more valuable content. Thank you for watching again and I will see you guys next time.